Hi guys and welcome back to another update on our favorite EV and battery recycling stock. Before we start, please support me by hitting the subscribe button. We're growing rapidly and your support is everything. Let's begin. Hi guys, hope you've been well. These past couple of weeks have not only been brutal for ABML, but also for the market in general. ABML stock has been brutally down since mid-March when the bear market trend kicked off. Even though I'm down by a lot, I still haven't sold any shares and I'm holding tight. My conviction in the company is still the same. Why? I know this company is in the right space. And I'll tell you why. Rare earth metal shortage is coming, my friends. It's coming and it's coming fast. Experts have pinned natural lithium to run out by 2025, which is only four years away from now. There is a tsunami of EVs coming to hit the roads in America. GM, Ford, Mercedes, BMW, Audi, Volkswagen, of course Tesla and Lucid, and many more startups. You name it. This is the decade of EV and they're coming. We need to find a sustainable system in the USA that not only works, but also ensures stable domestic supply. And ABML is perfectly placed. Now, a lot of investors, either they're questioning their investments in the first place, or they're questioning that if this company is a scam. And to be honest, I don't blame them. ABML has gone from the heights of $4 to trading by in mid $1 in the recent weeks. There's no way to absolutely know whether this company is a scam or if this investment is a safe bet without being an insider. But all the information out there that is available to public in front of us have suggested that this company is legit. The US government is heavily involved with ABTC. We already know the grant in January. You don't get to pull that off if you have nothing to show for yourself with the US government. To top it off, ABML is on the advisory board of DOE's Critical Materials Institute. Why would the DOE go on a limb here and get advice from the ABML on how to solve technological challenges in the recycling industry? ABML was chosen out of all the recycling companies out there for its technical capabilities and market knowledge to support US's lithium supply chain issues. Look, I get it. This is not an easy time, but ABML seems to be on the right path to benefit in the future. Battery recycling is the future. Maybe right now, we have to wait a little bit until we can see significant gains. And perhaps I'm early to this party, but I'd rather be early than miss an opportunity for the 10x plus gains. Lastly, I highly suspect that this bear run will continue till the end of April. Remember, you haven't really booked losses unless you have sold. Hold tight guys. If you like this video, then please hit the like button. I hope you have a successful day.